Hot and dry summer weather leading to brush fires across the region. Today alone, we've tracked firefighters battling flames from Gloucester to Braintree to Berkeley. We have team coverage examining the depths of this deepening drought. Before we hear from meteorologist Pete Bouchard, we're going to Oscar Margain live in Weymouth tonight, new at 11. Hey, Glenn, yeah, the firefighters across the state are having to chase hot spots every single day. These fires are fueled by the drought, and this drought is prompting cities like Weymouth to implement water bans. Signs of heat and drought are everywhere in Massachusetts. Crews in Gloucester battle through their second day of this stubborn wildfire. The hardest part is just extinguishing it. It gets down into the ground, and it just it burns. While in Braintree, firefighters battling this brush fire. Then there's pop-up fires like this one along Route 24 in Taunton. We're seeing an uptick in fire behavior across the state. Chief Fire Warden Dave Salino says 98% of these fires are human caused. As it gets drier, we're seeing fuels react to that as well. Fuels like grasses, shrubs. The effects of the drought also seen in the Charles River. This was last year and Tuesday, a noticeable reduction in water. This is uh you know, the, at least the third year, if not more, out of the last 10, where we've seen pretty significant rainfall deficits um, during the summer months. Now, here's an example of the drought we're experiencing. If I pull up my maps, you'll see there should be a pond with water. But if you take a look here, it's not much of a pond if there is no water. As the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection raises the drought levels for the state, the more water bans. Nearly 150 municipalities under restrictions. The lack of rain has led to the critical drought we see today in the eastern part of the state, which has prompted cities and towns like here in Weymouth to enact water bans. Now, ironically, the drought makes it easier for fires to spread and then the need to spend more of that precious water to put them out. We need the rain. Well, we need the rain. It's time to do a rain dance. The lack of rain causing business at that blooming place beginning to dry out. It definitely slows down sales for sure. I am Bush uses water from their well to irrigate their plants in the nursery, but even that may come in short supply. First time that the, we've dropped the pressure while we were, we were watering together in the morning. Now, Weymouth did get blessed with a little bit of rain today, but really that's just a drop in the bucket when you consider the rainwater deficit, which stands at about 10 to 15 inches in this region. Live in Weymouth, Oscar Margain, NBC10 Boston.